mean, there's the whole thing with Beatty. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've, I personally haven't mm -hmm. heard your side. Mm -hmm. I hear, I see the fake news, mm -hmm. but I've not heard what exactly happened with that whole situation. Okay, so, um, honestly speaking. <laughs> Crazy Radio. <laughs> Crazy Radio. Gang, what's popping, everybody? It's your girl Drizzy. Welcome back to Drizzy Radio. Grab the couple till it jumps straight into this mess, or rather, let's continue with the mess. Tanisha Donna did this long interview with Kiss 100, y'all. And she was spilling some tea over there, okay? Some of the questions that she was being asked I've already addressed in the other videos. But there are some that really, really got me. Well, a couple of years ago, there's this lady that was featured in Calligraph. I think it was on Cali Cartel 3. And this lady dissed Tanasha out of nowhere, yo. And when she was being asked, she said the reason why was because Tanasha don't was using her lingo there's a time tanasha donna said 254 to the world and it so happened that this lady over here rapper wanna be okay because i don't know any of her songs i don't know why tanasha is being so nice to her she started saying that that was her lingo she came up with that hashtag was tanasha, tanasha donna using that hashtag she went on a long run and dissed Tanasha like so disrespectful on a track on Calligraph's song. I was like, hmm, why can't you have done it in your own song? Because, you know, nobody knows you like that. You have to use Tanasha Donna to be known. Because before her dissing Tanasha Donna on Kali Cartel, nobody even know who she was. I don't, I, from then, I don't even know any of her songs. So Tanasha Donna was being asked what happened. Let's listen to more of the interview. <laughs> I don't know if it was, I think it was just, first of all, this happened like, what, three years, two, three yeah, years about back, two, it's about two, two, three years ago. two, three years ago, right? I think it was just all a misunderstanding, you know? It started over a quote, yeah. apparently, um, you know, Kenya to the world, and I don't know, maybe people, you know how people... If you ask me, that wasn't reason enough for her to come at Tanasha. Using somebody's... I mean, she could have been grateful because at the time, Tanasha was way bigger than her. And Tanasha is still relevant in this game. And she just... She, she was just being an asshole. People can be yes. people can uh, can easily corrupt your mind, and, and she's she was young at the time, you yeah. know. And people can come and tell, yeah, look, look, people try and instigate. Yes. And and especially when there's actually nothing going on, and as a young girl even talking from experience yeah. it's very easily to be corrupted and feel like okay is this girl trying to you yeah. know steal my yeah so i feel like also she's a great artist nope she's definitely not a great artist or rather i just don't like her songs like that she's one of those rappers i know of so many young upcoming rapper there's this lady called silver so dope uh we have patra so dope and this lady i don't think she got the bars like that i mean she's an okay rapper because she can spit some bars but she's just okay okay she's not somebody noticeable and that's why she hasn't blew up since then okay people only talked to about her then not now anyway let's continue maybe she was just you know trying to spit some bars and do a thing which she's amazing at i yeah. give her credit for that but right now we're at a good place we're not we've not really like met since then yeah. but we do have people that we work with yeah. okay my opinion is tanasha is just being nice towards this lady if you haven't heard the kalika tell three just go in there she's the first one to start rapping you will hear how disrespectful she was towards tanasha i mean like she owed tanasha apology if you ask me anyway let's continue with this uh, uh explanation who in common yeah in common yeah. so um would there's no beef right now i like her music why not you know i, I think mm -hmm. Beatty, why not I think she's hey. very yeah nope she's not underrated she just suck her music is not that good period call her spade a spade anyway artists like that who just deserve all the flowers you know yeah. Beatty's, the caroons there's so many of them who are doing oh, their thing Karoon. right now Nikita. Right? What? Nikita. <laughs> You know, and I'm here That's for it. Now. Nikita and Karun, yeah. But this one, mm -mm. I don't know about it. I don't think she's just talented. If you want to check her out, go you can check her out on Instagram at uh, Young 
Beiti or you can just go on YouTube check her music because it's not giving me what it's supposed to be giving but you guys that is just my opinion i just thought i would jump here and explain a little bit of that um uh video sorry i had to take it down um the first time because i received some copyright claims but anyway i decided to fix it and now it's good good so kindly give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and follow me on nigeria underscore radio i love you to the moon and back adieu